why they were cancelled, and talking a little bit about what they were going to be or hoped to be before their release. So today, we're talking about StarCraft Ghosts, as I said. This was Blizzard trying to push their StarCraft series to a different audience. Away are the troops, and hello, there's third-person shooting. Let's see what this game offered, and then find out why it went bye bye Also, it was being developed for consoles, which was another first for Blizzard. Like I said, this was a third-person shooter. It also let you do a little bit of platforming from the trailers, and even some flying. So that might have been a bit more open-ended than most person sh uh, third-person shooters back then. The game started development in 2002, and by a pretty reliable team. I think their name was Stygit. And beforehand, they made Vampire the Masquerade, which I've never played, but heard a lot of people love. However, that was an RPG, and this was going to be a third-person shooter. So, maybe it wouldn't have been the greatest mix, but it might have actually turned out somewhat unique in story vision. The game, on top of being a third-person shooter and also being able to fly and such uh, and do the stealth, it would combine all these elements on top of that to make the hand-in-hand -hand and even using traps, similar to Splinter Cell. It also featured a lot of creatures from the previous StarCraft titles from the RTS games. There was even supposed to be a multiplayer. It would be a team-based type game similar to Team Fortress, but with a little bit of more spy sense. How this would have worked is beyond me, seeing as online wasn't really big in the consoles yet till like Halo 2. Uh, but you know what? Maybe it would have revolutionized console online. We'll never know. Now here's the thing. Why was this game canceled? Well, Stygate dropped the game like a bag of bad fish. That's right, I made that up. Back in 2004. Who knows why, really? Hell, Blizzard said they completed their part of the game. If so, I'd assume that was mostly done. However, Gate went on to make some real horrible games like Conan or PlayStation Heroes. Does anybody know these games? Well, you know this one, right? Black Ops Declassified, which is one of the worst games ever. So maybe it was better that they dropped out or finished and left or whatever. Or maybe, and this is just my thoughts, they made this game the best they could and it was pretty bad and Blizzard decided to scrap what they were working on. Regardless, they were out of the picture. A new studio came in, Swinging Ape Studio, that's actually their name, and eventually Blizzard actually bought them out in 2005. First, the GameCube version was dropped, then it was dropped completely or put on hold, whatever they want to say, now it's gone. I personally believe it was a combination of just not getting it done in time and Blizzard not wanting to release subpar products. It's true, I'm not a fan of the new Diablo, but it was still very well commercially received and a lot of people seem to love it. Same goes for just about every Blizzard game out there. So it's no shocker that this one, which looked good but not amazing, was cancelled. Blizzard probably didn't think it would do more than average and didn't want to ruin their name so they just cancelled it. Or it could have been that they just didn't want to put resources into it and wanted to put all the resources into StarCraft 2 or more resources into their big money maker, World of Warcraft. It could be a bunch of reasons, but my main thought process is this game just wasn't up to par with Blizzard's standards. Either way, this probably will never get released, so say goodbye and wait like 25 more years for StarCraft 3.